This is Dr. Drew Hall with Upper Cervical Healthcare of Los Angeles and Carson. Today what we want to talk about is seizure disorders. Now there's many different types of seizure disorders that people suffer with out there. The most common and most well known is grand mal seizure. And then you have petite mal, you have absence, and you have juvenile myoclonic epilepsy. So they're basically just a variation. Some are more severe than others. Of course, grand malls are the ones that everyone has heard of. That's when the person goes into this massive writhing contraction in the body and go through this chewing mechanism. A lot of times they bite their tongue. It's pretty horrible disorder. The only blessing is the people who suffer from it, once it's done, don't know that they had a seizure. They have no recollection of it other than they're exhausted. But for those of the, you who are living with someone who has grand mal seizure, it's not a very fun thing to experience and watch a loved one go through this terrible episode. But like I said, the only blessing is they don't remember it. Now, there's a lot of things in the conventional system uh, that have proven beneficial in reducing seizure episodes. There are many different medications that give seizure, seizure sufferers uh, that in some cases will reduce the seizures and in rare cases completely knock them out. But if there were something natural that could help people uh, that are taking daily medication, uh, I think there isn't a person on the planet that suffers with a seizure disorder that wouldn't want to do something naturally that could help their body overcome it. So in our office we do what's called upper cervical specific and what that means is we're experts at the top two vertebrae in the neck and how it relates to the spinal cord. And while upper cervical care is not a complete clear-all, for seizure disorders, we have had many patients through our offices over the years that have either completely remitted, um, improved, and yes, there's been the occasional one that we haven't been able to help. But I wanted to talk about a case study uh, that was published in the Journal of Chiropractic Medicine in 2010, and the doctor was Dr. Todd Hubbard back in Davenport, Iowa. He had a 20 five-year-old girl come in. She suffered from one to two myoclonic epilepsy uh, uh, episodes per month. And this went on for about a 10-year period. And she came in to Dr. Hubbard uh, looking for help. And Dr. Hubbard, like ourselves, uh, does the Blair Upper Cervical Procedure, which basically is, its goal is to remove irritation to the upper neck. Now in this gal that was 25 that went into Dr. Hubbard, she had a fall out of the bed on her head about two or three months prior to the onset of her seizure disorder. So there are a lot of people out in the public who have seizure problems and they have linked it to a bad whiplash injury, a traumatic brain injury, or some sort of head injury. Now the reason we think that this is correlated to the neck and seizures is the cases uh, throughout the country that have come in. Of course, there's no blind placebo controlled study, but in this particular gal's case, over a couple of months of upper cervical care, her seizure disorder completely uh, cleared out. So how can this happen? So this is the atlas. There's two little joints that you see, one here on the left and one on the right, and the head rests on those two little joints. So the head weighs 10 to 12 pounds, it sits on this poor little two ounce bone and in between that bone and the second bone in the neck is called the brain stem. The brain stem is the seat of control for all of the function in your body that you don't think about. It's called the autonomic nervous system. And because it's highly important, because it controls everything in your body, and because it's implicated in seizure disorders, we feel that People that have suffered uh, spinal trauma, again, whether that's a severe whiplash injury, they took a, a soccer ball to the head, they fell out of a bunk bed on their head when they're younger, those types of traumas can cause this most critical junction to misalign and become locked and irritate the spinal cord. So if someone comes into our office, they're run through a battery of tests to determine whether they have one of these upper neck vertebrae out of position interfering with the spinal cord and if they do then a set of very precise 3D x-rays are taken that look at how those two little joints there fit to the head. And the reason this works, if that top vertebra is misaligned, if we look at the head joint and the C1 joint we can see whether they're even, misaligned, 
or misaligned under. And by looking at both outside margins of the atlas, we can determine exactly how that vertebra shifted out of position. And so someone who has a seizure disorder, they should be checked to see do they have an upper neck spinal misalignment that's affecting the nervous system. And if they do have that going on, it should be corrected to allow the central nervous system to function better. And in some of these cases, because that's the root cause of the seizure, once it's corrected, the body goes through a healing, mending, and repair process. So if you've come across this video and you are interested in coming in for a consultation, we do offer a free consultation in both of our Los Angeles offices. Uh, our LA office number is 213-399-7772 and our Carson office number is 310-324-6172. You can call either one of those numbers, whichever office is closest for you. We extend a free consultation to anyone who wants to come in and find out more about what we do, run through a battery of tests to find out if you are suffering with this trouble, and then we'll talk about next steps. If you're outside of the Los Angeles area and you've come across this video on YouTube and you're interested in upper cervical doc in your location, you can call either one of those numbers and we'd be happy uh, to find you someone who's qualified to help you in your locale. So hope this uh, video uh, was interesting. Um, for those of you who want to see that research publication that I talked about, if you Google myoclonic seizures, Blair Upper Cervical Chiropractic Research, if you put that in Google, you'll come across the full PDF research article that was in the Journal of Chiropractic Medicine. Till next time, have a great day.